This new Mar S6 is on the Spartan K3 chassis with the Cummins X15 and is priced about $120,000 more than this new Mar London Air that's also on the Spartan K3 chassis and also has the Cummins X15. Today I'm hanging out here at Trans West in Belton, Missouri with Brian, one of the Numar experts here. How you doing today, Brian? Great, how you doing, Andrew? Excellent, thank you. So you were telling me there are some pretty big differences between this London Air and this Essex? Yeah, there's a lot of differences that really relate to more amenities and options and interior differences of the coaches. But as you said, there's a lot of commonalities and the commonalities have to do with the actual powertrain, horsepower and power and torque from that standpoint. I, I say we take a look at this London Air first, show the folks the London Air, and then when we're done with that, I wanna take a look at the Essex. And do you think you could tell us what the Essex has that this London Air doesn't? Exactly, I think it's a great plan. Let's take a look inside the London Air. Now these both have the passive steer tag axle. What's some of the standard equipment that's gonna come with both of these coaches? Well, besides your passive steer, you're gonna have your comfort drive system, you're gonna have your on-guard collision mitigation and adaptive cruise. You're gonna have your mobile lane assist and departure uh, avoidance system on those. You're gonna have, again, your star foundation, of course, which as you know is Newmar's staple in terms of star strong, true, and robust. So you have that complete substructure that's going to make these coaches ride better than any other Class A out there. You're going to have your Girard awnings. You're going to have your upgraded uh, packages where you're including your uh, awnings over your living room, bedrooms, and a kitchen on the other side. You have your raised rail uh, chassis, and you're going to have large cargo bays on both sides. You're going to have fueling on both sides, again, which is very, very common in your luxury coaches. But what's the diesel fuel carrying capacity of both of these coaches? You have 150 gallons on both. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then uh, holding tank capacities. You have 101 gallons of fresh. I believe it's uh, 80 of um, gray and 60 of black. And the same in both coaches? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Well, you think we could take a closer look inside this London Air? Absolutely. Come on in. It's absolutely stunning. What is going on in here, sir? Well, again, you've got um, the London Air that lends itself to a different type of clientele in terms of when you compare this to the Essex, you're going to be looking at both of them. So a couple things, Andrew, I think you need to point out is, first of all, look at the ceiling for a minute. And as you look at the fit and finish of this, and as well as the accents on the side, again, all these are hand done at Newmar, for the cut and, 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 and design of the cabinetry and how it's molded. These are the kind of subtleties that then are different than the Essex. And again, we'll refer back to that when we go into the Essex. You have bonded windows. You have, in this case, a booth dinette. You have your theater seats. You have a pull-out uh, bed. You still have your induction cooktop, which is common on both of them, which again, you can take outside. Large microwave um, and convection oven. In this case, this coach, this is a 4579 model. But again, you've got two sinks. One's a little bit larger. So again, that enables you to wash pots and pans. And um, is this same floor plan available in the Essex as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. The one we're going to look at is a 4569, just for comparison. Um, again, your residential fridge, uh, one pantry, backlit, again, locking shelves that release. And you can then move the height of these if you want to, to adjust for different types of amenities that you're carrying. Yeah, can we open that and look at that again? I just want to point out too, uh, the style, um, is that? It's more of a residential fitting. And again, look at how deep it is. Again, again, your Mennonite, you know, construction skilled laborers at Newmar do a phenomenal job of, of fit and finish on these. Yeah, very well lit in there. And I like to point out that, you know, all the walls inside the cabinets are lined as well and, and again they're screwed in also the floor on the essex is different than the floor in the london air and you'll see a difference in terms of this looks like planks um you'll see how the essex looks a little bit different in that um now is it heated floors in this london air as well yes yeah and your luxury lines are all going to have the heated radiant floor with a dual loop chinook system in it they've already built pocks in here on both sides so if you have a cpac machine or any kind of electronic device you can run the wires right down through that and put it on your nightstand so you're not encumbered by the, the, the piece of equipment or the device. 
And again, with Comfort Air, like in all new Mars, you know the air conditioning runs right down the middle of the coach. You may ask, well, what's the purpose of that? Well, look at how clean the ceiling is. There's no pox or vents or anything else on there. It's a very classy, clean look like it would be in a residential house. Well, this pulls down and you can get to your vents, you can get to your filters and clean them yourself and also direct the airflow yourself. Cuts down on tech time and service. Plus it gives it a stunning look and a residential feel. Yes, sir, and also cuts down on the noise from those AC units as well, I believe. Exactly, and you think about it logistically when the slides are in, on other coaches, what am I cooling? If I've the got tops vent, of the slide room. Thank yeah. you, you <laughs> yes, know, so again, I'm, I'm running my ACs at less efficiency, but I'm getting greater capacity to cool in a Numar. Obviously, this 4579 gives you a huge walk-in wardrobe and closet next to the huge shower cathedral ceiling gives you a higher feeling and it is taller it also creates um lift up into your fantastic fan so again it'll take out fumes and take out humidity much much quicker just by the physical nature of the design of the bathroom yeah and i really like this particular floor plan the positioning of the washer and dryer here as soon as you're done you can hang stuff right up and that's almost that's that's a walk-in closet back there yeah. Uh, it looks like you no, have a safe. There, yep, you have a wall safe. Very high end, little shoe cubbies back there. You can close this off. So again, if you don't want people exposed to your wardrobe, even from looking all the way down the coach, you can take this and close it off, just like you can the main door. What about the washer and dryer? Does that stay exposed like that? Um, yes, it does, because again, you've got this door that'll bring it across and close it. Real quick, I want to look inside of this. Oh yeah, more storage there. Mm -hmm. um, got adjustable shelves all well lit as well i want to give everybody a close-up of the patterns that they're using inside of this shower uh this texture on this wall is really different really cool the way that drain is it's, it's a really cool look and i think they keep that in there because it's winterized that right. little mat there now what this material on the walls what is that you know that's a um a tile an actual tile if you look at this and you can feel the grout on it you know it, it, it is a solid surface. It's got to look like it's almost like a fabric right, or something. Like very that, right. cool. And like you commented on the sink, I mean on the drain, again, it's a very subtle concave movement so the water flows down without just one centerpiece for your drain. Now this coach is really impressive. I'm excited to go see that Essex right now, but what's the MSRP on this particular unit? Well, this particular coach has an MSRP of 896 and change has about $50,000 worth of options on it. So again, your base price 22 London Air is gonna be 800 and change. And again, how you outfit it from there is gonna depend on your actual and, uh, and MSRP. And this coach is available now? Yes, yes it is. Here at TransWest. What's all going on in the cockpit of this London Air? Yeah, take a look up here. First of all, you got your complete digital dash that's illuminated. You've got power adjusted uh, steering wheel, and you've got a steering wheel that's a smart wheel, more like an SUV. You have charge ports up on the driver's side and passenger side, as well as the passenger side has their own monitor and navigation system. Yeah, I love this uh, little lunch tray or laptop tray there for your passenger and wireless charging for your passenger, extra cup holder. There's a power window here as well, I yes. believe. Yes, uh -huh. power window. Again, you've got pedals that'll move that you manually, uh, electronically move your pedals. And you can tilt and telescope the pedals and the steering wheel Correct. as well? Mm -hmm. And again, on the windshield, you can see your um, on-guard collision mitigation system and adaptive cruise. And your mobile eye lane de departure and assistant um, is noticed in the uh, mirrors on both passenger side and driver side. Now the paint scheme on this London Air is stunning. I like to see the emergency egress door. And I want to give everybody a look at the rear ends of both of these coaches. So it looks like there's a little more detail work going on in the paint job in this Essex. What's uh? Yeah, actually, um, Andrew, there's there's six exterior paint and sand buff processes on the Essex versus five step sand and buff on the London Air. So there's one exterior difference right there. A little more care and, and concern and extra, you know, quality put into the paint. It's still BASF, it's still, again, um, full body paint, but it's a little more of a process in the, in the Essex compared to the London Air.
Uh, both do have the emergency egress door. I like to see that. And I just want to point out, I'm, I'm a, a detail guy. So the little differences I'm seeing in the paint out here, I love that they brought this pattern with this drop shadow into the radiator fins here. So you can see that little, you got this silver pinstripe with that drop shadow and two different shades of blue. So a, a little more of a navy blue and then a little more of a royal blue. But when you step back, it just really comes together really nicely. And then when we look at this London Air here, the rear end is a little more simple, a little more of an aggressive style on the Essex. But then on the London Air here, that paint scheme doesn't quite flow through the radiator fins as much. But uh, you still have those stainless strips along the bottom and still a stunning paint job sorry brian i know no, you're the no, expert no, no, but no, i i get excited great. about paint but what else is going on with these coaches sir well on the exterior um the essex does have a 270 amp alternator versus a 210 so again getting to those fine aspects of quality a little more power a little more amperage a little more um recycling of uh power and charging power this coach the essex has a uh, six six volt coach batteries and uh as standard and the london air has four so again more charging power more sustainability so when you have your solar panels you're going to have a little more house battery charging on the essex um, versus the london air again both completely adequate very more than adequate because they're luxury coaches but again an upscale in terms of the power that's available uh, if you notice also you got 360 cameras so it's a commonality on there in the luxury coaches. That's a very common um, uh, option that you'd want on there just for your own safety and peace of mind, plus the security system that'll be on both of them. That's a great option to have. You can see, again, back to the paint. Yes, sir. Notice on a Newmar, even the dryer vent. Notice yes, the, sir. Notice the shadowing and the color matches it perfectly. So again, Newmar will put their exterior features on first, then they'll take it into the paint booth and whatever's out there, they'll do that even on your egress door. I mean, they even caught the corner of the edge where the hinge is on the egress door. And again, it still has that look to it. Obviously, as you know, in your luxury coaches, they match the slides sides to match the coach. So when you pull it out, again, it's one fluid color all the way through. Yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite Numar paint jobs with the silver and blue. Here in the back of the coach, one other thing that's really catching my eye is the different tail lights. So the Essex has these sleek, uh, this sleek style, some of the more modern cars. I just saw a brand new Range Rover that had tail lights that looked a little more like this, where the London Air is gonna have the more classic style. Uh, just not quite as aggressive of a, of a rear end. I would agree with you. I think, I think that's kind of that that difference between the Essex and the London Air. The London Air is very traditional more, um, maybe a little more classic from a standpoint of, of, of fit and finish and even the exterior decor. But then you get in the Essex, I think you're going to see a very sleek, modern looking interior, just like you're observing on some of the subtleties on the outside. And then even here, you can see these LED lights. They're okay. going to be stunning when they're lit up, and you don't see that on the London Air. They're very traditional, like you said, with the lights here. So again, a subtle difference. Even the flat black on the inside, the gloss black on this, draws your eye to the bumper and the paint job above. Whereas here, again, you've got a similar color all the way through. Again, very, very nice. Not to withstand anything or taking any away from the London Air, but just a difference in just terms of appearance. If you just took a look at both of them right away, you should be able to pick out those differences looking a little more at the paint jobs on the sides too i just see a, a little bit more detail work uh with the blues just a few more pinstripes uh some drop shadows they both have the stainless along the bottom what else is going on and i think i think that's a good observation because it, again it goes back to the london air kind of traditional if you get too many swirls and spikes and things like this people may be turned off by that where again the essex is a little more edgy um, and, and aggressive not overly um, ambitious, but just again, a neat flow of, of just pop. And you put that with the bright, bright colors. You can also customize your colors. We've done that lots of times, Andrew, where you, again, we may take a coach, and while this is the Aledo graphics, we may switch this white to gray, and therefore this will be white, and vice versa. Or we could pick different colors, but the point is we could take the four main colors, flip them around. In this case, where you have a silver skin, we could make that skin maybe the royal, the, the dark navy blue. 
or we may make the skin white and make it around and therefore your coach will be completely unique to you. And the neat thing about it is as a consumer is there's only one charge. So whether we change all four colors or one color, it's the same charge um, in, terms, in terms of the same price. But the neat thing is you get a coach that is completely unique. A lot of value to that. And I've got to point out too, you know, these colors, this is a gloomy day here in Missouri. Uh, you could see there is no sun sunshine coming through those clouds, but the blue is still just popping and really commanding attention. We're gonna go in the Essex in just a moment here, but real quick, I wanna point out the front end is a little bit more aggressive with this grill what else uh what's the, the leds down here so yeah running lights when this coach is lit up you've got leds up here and you got them down here so again it's a crisp new age type of look very refreshing very youthful doesn't have quite as aggressive that mesh grill like the Correct. essex had you've got a couple lights here oh, so you do get some pop all right but they're more again horizontal they're not at the angle and like you pointed out the grill's a little bit different but you still have your big new more identifying feature on the front both are nice looking coaches but i'm excited to get inside of this essex and uh now the paint options do you know about how much the cost difference is just in the paint options between these two coaches uh, you know what again part of that depends on if you do specialized paint otherwise again you're paying for the paint job that comes on and the fact that you have a different step process like that is probably reflected in the price remember we talked about hundred and twenty thousand dollars difference that would be one more step in the process that probably hasn't been isolated as a charge per se but just knowing that you've got another step process that, that is is proceeded and carried out in the Essex is going to make it a little more money well, let's uh, look inside this Essex Absolutely. here I'm excited Another absolutely stunning coach. Let's look at the cockpit up uh, in this coach. We did look at the cockpit in that London Air. The first thing I'm noticing is this suede inlay in the seats. Was that, did the London Air have that as well? Or No, and one of the differences, um, you've got a cooled seat here as well as a heated and a massage seat. The cool seat is an option, uh, is standard on the Essex, not an option on the London Air. Oh, so not even an option then? Correct. Okay. Well, you do notice here too, if you look subtly, you can see like if you were in a sports car and you had your paddles, yes, you're sir. shifting. Well, we're not shifting a coach like a race car, um, but you've got movement here that can be adjusted for your steering wheel, height and tilt, and also your pedals. So all that can be done right here at the flip of your fingers, um, nice. sitting in your captain's chair. Also, the uh, Essex has memory seats versus London Air, which doesn't have that option. So again, okay. you can have different drivers or at least a main driver, set it up the way you want it, come in and it'll say in that seating the same way. Yeah, then your passenger and both have a wider seat. Mm -hmm. And then this is gonna have, you know, the tray wireless charging Navigation. passenger. Now, now, did we see the air conditioning controls for the passenger in the London Air? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yes. And was there massaging seats in the London Air? Yes. There mm -hmm. was, okay. Mm -hmm. Just not the cooled seats. Right, not the cool seats. And then the Essex embroidery is absolutely stunning. Did we see embroidery in the London Air? Do you... There was a pattern to it, but it wasn't embroidered like this. Okay. So where you can see as you move your hand, you can see how you can see the the nap on it has a little bit of give. Uh, but again, the Essex, uh, again, kind of a step up. You've got a wood steering wheel embossed on the whole top part of it, which you didn't have on the London Air. Power windows. But here's your memory seats down below, Andrew. You can see where there's three settings. Okay. So again, you can set your pedals, your steering wheel, your seat, all that for different drivers. So what else uh, is going on in this coach uh, that, that commands that extra 120000 over the London Air? Okay. So there's a couple things here that I want to mention um, that tech-wise, you have an optional security system with motion sensors on the Essex, that's not available in the London Air. You do have the Samsung Wi-Fi tablet for the whole house control system on the Essex. That's not available on the London Air. You also have a Wi-Fi Ranger that's standard with the optional wine guard um, on the Essex and their options on the London Air. So again, to, to recap a little bit of the technology, 
is that a lot of things are standard on the Essex where there are options on the London Air and you need to be inquiring with your sales professional to make sure that you know you might want that on there and if it is make sure you get that on there you also have uh, the web-based my Rosie app um, that's for complete remote access and streaming capabilities versus a local app that's available on the London Air so if some of you techies may like the fact if I can do all these things by my phone control it one of my way whereas again the London Air be more than more locally um, uh, restricted okay so those are some of the technology things that are kind of different making the Essex a little more advanced than the London Air. This floor plan a little bit different than the floor plan we saw in, in the London Air there? Yeah, if you notice on this one, we've got a booth that is stationary in terms of a kitchen booth. And, and the, first of all, I think in the 4569 Essex, one of the things that stands out in this coach is this immense kitchen. I mean, if you are a chef or a culinary or any kind of culinary um, guru in your RV, this is a coach for you. I mean, look at this thing. You've got three sides of you that are for cooking and preparing, preparing food. Yeah. You've got a bevel edged here again, so any kind of liquids are going to stay on the countertop, both here and along here. Just really subtly class, well done. I like the different levels too, and it looks like when this slide room comes in, this is stationary, it slides right over. Exactly, exactly. So you, again, you won't get any tighter than this. Huge kitchen window. Obviously your induction cooktop, which on both coaches, as you know, Newmar, you can take out and take outside if you're cooking bacon or stinky fish and you don't want to fumigate your, your, your living room, you can you, do that. Yeah, you, know, you do have the fantastic fan. Is that a fantastic fan? Yes, it fan? is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So With that can... nice wood piece as well yeah, there. Nicely capped. Um, this coach doesn't have a dishwasher, but it would go right here if you had one. Okay, but as you come around, you've got two sinks. Is a dishwasher an option on this Absolutely. coach? Absolutely. And on the London Air as well? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the London Air actually had one dishwasher on it. Uh, one of the things, again, to look at this, when you think about cabinet space and storage, I mean, you've got all this space, a plethora of space all the way around, and you've got two pantries, not one. So you've got two, one is backlit, and again, um, movable up and down if you wanted to. And another one that you can use as a pantry or a linen closet because you even have a wardrobe rack in there if you wanted to. So again, it gives you an option. And again, drawers down below, food, uh, supplies, you name it. But again, if you're using it for kitchen, this is immense. Yes, sir. It's truly a lot of room. And part of that is, notice in the Essex, we don't have cabinets up here. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, so what you have is this huge window, bonded window that gives you a stunning look of whatever surroundings you are. So when you can look at this kitchen window here, this living room window here, and the two windows on this side, when these blinds are up, and Andrew, you're parked by a lake or a mountain scene or anything like that, it's gonna make this coach just feel huge. Absolutely, and I just, I like that it adds, it doesn't really add height to the slide room, but it, it feels like the slide room is taller, and you're not, you know, worrying about hitting your head on cabinets when you're getting in and out of this stuff. I really, as a tall guy myself, I like that. Yeah, good observation. Look at the ceiling again. I mean, we talked about the ceiling in the London Air before, and this one's a little bit more subtle, very classy, but again, not glitzy, but again, the same Comfort Air system works in here um, in all new bars, but uh, the ceiling's just a little bit different, not as much intricacies. And as you look at the wood, I'm gonna tell you about the wood real quick. Yes, sir. So the wood has those three days, a six step process, including hand sanding twice, versus a one day, four step, single hand sand finish on the London Air. So that's something that does set it apart. Uh, the wood look, polished floors on the Essex versus the rectangular ones. If you remember on the Essex, on the London Air, they were literally almost squares. Look at these, they're kind of elongated. You can see they're about three feet long. Yeah, and I love and, that and, high gloss, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, and that's very, very common of the Essex is a high gloss floor. And these are heated floors as well? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely, radiant heat, the Chinook dual loop system. Again, extremely efficient, great way. Sometimes on a day like today, you can put the heated floor on, take the chill out of the coach, not even use your furnace. So it's, again, it works that well, and you got three different settings of it. So you could have this at a different setting. You could have your bedroom at a higher setting. 
So when you step out in the morning, your bare feet, you're not freezing. And then you could you know, turn that down or turn it off, have a little bit of subtle heat going on here to get your feet and, the, and your area warmed up, then turn the furnace on and enjoy your day. Okay, and these are gonna be the same style of heated floors like we saw in the London Air? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All by your Oasis system. Both of them have the 12.5 kilowatt generators on them. So again, you got the same power system in though. I, again, I keep coming back to the subtleties are in the interior and some of the finishes and the extra steps that they needed to do and want to do to make the Essex a little bit further apart from the London Air. And I gotta give everybody a close up of this beautiful backsplash that really ties in those exterior colors and brings them inside. You do notice on the London Air, the London Air has a stainless steel refrigerator front, if you recall. Yes, sir. Now you have a wood plank, a wood panel, just like your complete interior. So it's a high gloss. This is a, a amber uh, glazed cherry finish, which is again a new color that was out. But again, they did it the same way to match the wood. So it just kind of flows into it. Your eye doesn't stick out with a piece of appliance that's sitting there right in your face. Very, very subtle, very classy, just blends into the woodwork. Yeah, and then this accent wall here. I'm trying to remember what type of accent wall was in the London Air, but this is a really cool look here in the Essex. You have a subway style antique type of mirrored uh, decor finish in the booth, whereas the London Air had a wall with a clock on it. Okay. Again, very subtle, very simple but a difference in terms of elegance and maybe a new age look here in the Essex. Here you can see your security system that yes, is sir. in the Essex. And again, it's an option in your London Air, it becomes standard in your Essex. Similar to the uh, refrigerator, wood panel covering. If this coach had a uh, dishwasher, you probably wouldn't even know it because it would look just like this in terms of be a wood panel cover on it, just like the, like the cabinets and the wood throughout the coach. So it would match the wood just like it matches on the uh, refrigerator. Yes, sir. And, and as we're going around this coach, I want to point out the under lighting below the cabinets. I love how they illuminate off of the floor. Did the London Air have as much lighting in it as this coach does? Yeah, there was ample lighting and those accent lights are a great way. Like one of the things about the London Air, you have a theater mode um, switch where you can put this on theater mode and what will happen is the lights will dim, the shades will go down, the elevator will come up, and the accent lights will come on so you're in like a movie theater mode. Everything will get dark and everything will be prepped for you to watch the movie. Does this coach have it? Yes. Yeah, can we demonstrate it in this coach? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's okay. do that real quick. See right here where it says I'm in systems under the house and I'm going to hit theater mode right here. And as you watch, pan around. See what's happening. I like this. So you can stay in your theater seats and everything else gets prepared for you with the televator coming up, night shades going down, and all you see is accent lights. And now you can turn your TV on or mainstream or stream your Netflix or whatever you're watching. And now you have a coach that's, again, notice the subtle lighting up the top so you can at least see your way around and again it's not sunny out today but it's enough dark that between the night shades you have enough ambient light to see where you want to go yeah and i like there's just a little bit of light coming um off of the ceiling and then it, it glows off of the floor here and i want to point out how quiet that uh televator was when it was coming up but we want to see the rest of the coach so let's go back to normal mode here just a press of the button there the movie's over yes sir <laughs> so one button and everything comes up so as we said in the london air um we had storage cabinets all along the um, uh, living room and kitchen area the essex doesn't have that which enables you for a huge panoramic view which we talked about with these windows. Back to the kitchen area, for the what appears to be a lack of storage space, you clearly gain a lot of it here. And again, I want to call your attention to the size and the construction and the depth. Oh yeah, I've never storage seen capacities. this wide of drawers coming out of, from this position. I really like that. You could really load those up so again in the luxury coaches i want to point out that you're also going to always have your soft closed doors 
but again, looking how deep these are, again, a lot of your coaches will have a, a, a drawer that is about a third or two thirds the size of this, not the size of Numars. Again, real quick keep... while that's out, I just want to point out that construction there, the uh, dovetailed construction, I believe they call yep. that. And this residential railing, so again, just like you'd have in a home, um, on every drawer, it's the same way. It's very quiet, there's not much movement. And again, they're gonna close on their own. Yeah, very smooth. Plenty of places for your devices. And again, you can organize this however you want to. Now, was there a silverware divider in the mountain, uh, oh, sorry, in the London Air? Yeah, there was. It was. And down below, again, if we had a dishwasher here, you would have that. But again, in this case, you've got huge place for pots and pans or larger pieces of uh, cooking equipment and apparatuses. Just very, very generous on both sides. Yeah, this this galley is definitely set up for someone that enjoys the culinary. Uh, it's the Bobby Flay of the uh, RV world. Here. Yes, sir. And again, small places where you can put different kinds of either cooking aids or maybe spices, whatnot. You can tailor make this kitchen however you want to. Cleaning devices here, and again, um, your manuals. But here's a stainless steel waste basket. Versus a plastic one in a London Air. Again, a subtle difference, but nonetheless, the Essex has a stainless steel. Yeah, definitely a lot more high end than a lot of the trash cans I see in motor. Even just feeling that the, the weight, and I even like it's got kind of a pattern there. Uh, mm -hmm. All those little details add up in the slide tray if you wanted to put a recycle bin back there as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Again, finished out. And the London Air is going to be finished out inside of all the cabinets as well. Yes, absolutely. We want to make sure that you can do And they're going to be adjustable when they could be adjustable. And that'll be true with the London Air also. Now, the equipment like the like the, the microwave here, same level of appliances or? In this case, yes. They're both going to be GE. Um, the difference, as I pointed out earlier, was in the washer and dryer as one of the major appliances differences from a Splendy to a Whirlpool. Otherwise, these will be the same. What about the Aqua Hot? So Aqua Hot, again, identical. Chassis and the uh, structure of the entire coach are going to be identical in terms of power. Um, Both 12.5 kilowatt. 12.5 kilowatt generators, the Spartan K3, those kinds of things are going to be identical. 365 and, steers. Yes, mm -hmm. with your passive uh, steering also. So all that will be the same. Your heating system will be the same. And again, it comes back to the subtle differences inside the coach. The visible differences in terms of the window storage, the fit and finish of the uh, preparation of the wood as well as the floor, uh, the sinks, this washer dryer, um, and again some of the amenities in the cab that are creature comforts where there's memory seats and cool seats, things like this. Here's a couple things in the sinks and the windows and mirrors I want to point out and there's a sound bar in here that are just kind of neat. So in the Essex You'll notice that the bevel seats, uh, bevel sinks, are the same material and are um, rolled into the countertop. So again, it's not above; it just flows right into it, and it's the same material. It's a high polished, solid surface counter, and it had a vestibule sink too. Okay. So therefore, again, some people enjoy that, some people don't. But if they don't, this makes it really neat, I think, Andrew, for cleaning. If nothing else, you're just sweeping it right into the sink, and therefore, it's your like your final wipe is not yeah. going around the bowl both outside and inside now it's just one panel and again keeping things simple and classy in yeah. Essex yeah I like that that, that same beautiful backsplash uh, and the lighting too I don't know if we saw this with the backlit mirror in the half bathroom and then I, did, did the have the wood uh, fade cover yeah. on the half bathroom yeah, the as well? fantastic fans will always in the luxury coaches will have a wood veneer and wood finish on them okay one of the things that's noticed and you've picked up on it is the um, bevel edges of the mirrors too. Again, it's a it's a rounded edge. It's not a sharp, crisp edge. The London Air is more rectangular. These are more smooth around the sides. Is the backlit mirror in the London Air as well? Or? Yes. It is, okay. In the bedroom, you do have a sound bar here. The Bose sound bar is standard in the Essex. It's not in the London Air, so you get a little better quality sound in the bedroom of your Essex. And a nice, nice, again, solid surface counter that's really well polished, um, kind of a beveled edge here too, a little, little extra added, you know, um, finishing and touches to that. I love these floors. And this is a king size bed as well? Yes. 
Now, I don't know if we saw this in the London Air here. Behind the bed there, it's got these, um, I mean, what, what would you what would you call those? Well, again, I, I would call it a, just a wood, um, kind of almost like a colonial type of uh, finish that looks like almost window panes. It's, it's, a, it's a headboard, um, but again, a different look, a different style in the Essex than you're going to get in your London Air. You do have an option in the uh, Essex to get side windows. Okay. Okay, and that's not an option in the London Air. So the slide, the side windows on this slide room here, that's something that only in the Essex you can't right. can't get that. Or you could get a full window in the Essex too. Okay. And that's cool. one of those options that gives you the same kind of impression like we had in the living room and the and the uh, dining room. You could have that window here for those people that like to feel like they're sleeping as close to outside as possible. Yeah, and then this uh this kind of cool. I don't know what to call it, uh, with, with the lights coming down, um, kind of comes up out of the cabinets there. Did the London Air have that as well? No, they had the very traditional that came across from the front fascia here and it was very rectangular. So now you had this recess with this added um, fixture on top. You still have your pocks and holes back here for your um, uh, medical devices if you need to, uh, but again, a curved. So you could say, you know, if you're coming up out of your bed, you have less chance of maybe even hitting a cabinet. Yes, sir. So again, there's a functionality to it as well as an aesthetically pleasing uh, richness to it that the Essex brings to the brings to the table. And probably a little more lighting, I would assume, too, yes. by having these lights mm -hmm. uh, here. In addition to everything else going on, and I love just all the little accent lighting here uh, on this mm -hmm. slide face here. Just so much detail work in this coach. As you come back into the coach here too, you're going to notice um, there's an upgrade from a Splendid washer and dryer to a Whirlpool. So okay. again, going back to that initial question, what is the difference? Another subtle difference in terms of just an upgrade in the appliances. Um, here you've got again this really, really nice smooth beveled sink, countertop area here. These are vestibule sinks, but even this is again a very, very nicely rolled edge. And likewise on your mirrors, the same thing up here. Just really well finished off. The outlets back there. Mm -hmm. And were the cabinets carpeted on the inside of the London Air? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still got a cathedral ceiling. Mm -hmm. And you're in this case, you've got a cedar closet, but appreciably primarily because of the floor plan, we've got a different layout here. So if you notice we've got a different type of shower size. Same amenities, um, again, in this case, a really classy tile and accented um, shower um, finish with your aqua miser system and your huge shower head up top. Now, did the London Air have the aqua miser? Uh -huh. okay. Yes, that's something that's standard in your luxury lines. And you still have your egress door here, which again, if people don't understand how easy they are to operate, it's just um, unlock and you're out. Yeah, very. And your telescopic ladder comes out of here. But a great way to unload the coach, maybe after you're done with a, a trip and you've got laundry and things like that, you can throw right out. I also say it's a great way to load your coach. Absolutely. So instead of walking all the way up to the front door, most things you're going to put in your coach are probably going to be back in the bathroom and bedroom. So again, you're, you could be in here or your wife could be in here and you could be running around the house handing things up to her here. So it's not just for emergency purposes. I think it serves a really practical use. A lot of peace of mind and a lot of uh, value in having that egress door. Oh, Brian, I learned a lot today hanging out with you. I really appreciate that. Now, I heard that there's a new 2023 Essex coming out that's gonna go up another $100,000 or so. Can you give us any insight on that? <laughs> uh, yes, I can. And uh, one of the neat things about Newmar is that every year, they redo, completely redo, uh, one to three different types of coaches. Well, ironically, this year, the 2023 Essex is one that was selected for a complete makeover. A couple quick things about that, just to tempt you, is that it's going to be a lithium battery-powered coach um, option on there. It'll also have the soft closed doors like the King Air. So a couple items there just to uh, let you know some the of the things that are changing and there's a list of other things that'll be changing on it too and I'd be happy to share those with you. Bigger windows as well, I believe. Yes, and the bonded windows also. So it'll be a very much like a bus feel. 
Well, maybe we can get another comparison video. I'd like to hear your guys' feedback if you enjoyed this comparison, this style of video. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to purchase one of these coaches, who should they get a hold of? Oh, give me a call here at TransWest, 816-892-5945 here in Belton, Missouri. We sell all over the country. Um, we'd be happy to help you any way we can. Again, Brian Schumann, 816-892-5945. Look forward to hearing from you. And I greatly appreciate you and the team at TransWest. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks. Safe travels.